Right, this is going to be a short demo on how to convert like um, miles per hour to kilometers per hour and also uh, feet to meters. I've gotten a few questions about how do we do that because most of the gauges I make are in uh, uh, in the US. So what we'll do real quick is we'll just start a project just so we have something working in the background. And I'll grab a video file just so we have something there. And I'll grab my uh, Flytrex data file, which is also on my desktop. Okay. And let's get some gauges. All right. Well, let's just bring in the Flytrex gauge because. After all, this is a. After all, this is a Flytrex model. I'm trying to work with. Okay. Okay. So here we go. What I'll do is I'm going to bring in my uh, my speed module that I created, and we'll just keep this over here, miles per hour, and we'll also do. Um, we'll just do. Uh, the, uh, I guess the altitude one. Okay. And we're just going to do this for a comparison. Okay. So right away, when I go to my uh, data tab, my synchronization, okay, and I slide my data, I just want you to see how uh, the numbers do move. Okay. And again, this is. Um, I guess the US standard uh, using feet and miles per hour. Okay, so let's start with the miles per hour. What you want to do is go into the gauge toolbox. We want to grab the speed one that's set up for miles per hour. And what we want to do is uh, clone that gauge. When you hit clone, it gives you uh, an option box pops up and it wants you to rename the gauge. So we'll just say it's called Flytrex Triple Speed. And what we'll do here is at the end, we'll just put uh, a KPH. Okay. All right. So here's our KPH gauge. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and edit the gauge. So here's the gauge. And what you're looking for is, is this. These are the three inputs. Uh, you can see speed miles per hour, vertical speed miles per hour, uh, speed lap max which is actually your max speed in miles per hour first thing we need to do is get these three fields for the metric in the kilometers per hour so the way we do that is we're going to go into add a gauge input now these are all velocity uh, data category so we're going to velocity data uh, the velocity data category and we're looking for speed miles per hour speed miles per hour okay is here so what we're going to do is we're going to add speed kilometers per hour and we're going to add that as one of the data fields and we're going to do the same for vertical speed and max speed so again we'll go into velocity and now we're looking for vertical speed and here it is vertical speed kilometers per hour okay and the last one is speed kilometers max. Again, velocity, speed lap max kilometers per hour. Okay, so now we have six data fields instead of just the three that we started with. And here it is, it's the simple. We're going to click on the miles per hour logo here. And let me view into this, let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so here's the field that links to speed miles per hour. And what you have to really do is double click on it. When you double click on it, the properties come up. And what we're going to do is in the Dropbox, we're now going to select speed kilometers per hour and select OK. 
what we'll do is the, we'll grab the MPH, double click it, and here we'll just type KPH. Here's the max miles per hour. We're going to change that to speed lap kilometers per hour. Same thing here. KPH max. And for vertical, we'll just grab vertical KPH. Okay. We're going to do file, save gauge, because the gauge is already called Flytrex Triple Speed KPH. And we're going to close that. Now you see your gauges here, and what we'll do is we'll bring it in. We'll make it larger so we can see. And as you can see, here's the kilometers, here's the miles. Go to synchronize, and when we move our slider, you'll see that gauge is now showing kilometers per hour. Okay? And let's do one more gauge. We'll do the uh, the altitude. So here's the altitude gauge. Again, we're going to clone the gauge. Flytrex triple altitude. And we'll just say, uh, actually this is going to be meters. Meters. Okay. And here it is. Now we're going to go and edit those fields the same way. I'm going to edit the gauge. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's not that clear, but just so you can understand it. And again, we want to grab these these three fields, the altitude, ground-based altitude, ground-based altitude max, in meters. So again, let's go add some fields. Uh, and these are all positional fields. So the first one is altitude, and here's the altitude right underneath it, meters. See that? Grab that. Next one is ground-based altitude feet. Let's go down to positional. Ground-based altitude feet, that's what we have. We want the meters. And the last one is altitude... Um, Grant based altitude max. Positional. Oops. Ground based altitude max. Max feet, max meters. Okay. And the same thing here. So now we're talking about altitude. We're going to click the altitude. This is saying ground based altitude feet. We're going to select now ground-based altitude meters right here. What we're doing is changing feet to meters. Uh, max altitude, ground-based altitude max feet becomes ground-based altitude max meters. And the same thing for sea level. This is altitude position feet. We want altitude position feet meters. And that's it. File. We're saving the gauge. We already gave it a name. And now let's bring in the meter gauge, the meters. Okay. So again, on the right hand side is miles per hour and feet. On the left hand side we have kilometers per hour and meters. And now when you move your data line, you'll see on the left that it's showing you meters and kilometers per hour. And that's it. Okay, hope this helps a few people. Thanks.